Gates with MMAAbsolute.com and we're here with Ian De La Cuesta who's just coming back from trying out on the recent Ultimate Fighter tryouts and uh, also um, had some big victories um, in Guam recently. Um, Ian, first of all, talk about your most recent fight in Guam. You know, how you won, how you got the victory, uh, you know, for people who may not have seen the fight. Um, well, it was about, was it? about a month and a half ago. Um, PXC, um, what was it, PXC 36. Um, and I had a good, actually, a good amount of time to train for it. Because um, I've been waiting a long time to get back to this. To this promotion. I fought there a few years ago, took the fight on short notice, uh, didn't give my best performance and I was just waiting, waiting um, to get back in there and put on a show. Um, but uh, this was my first fight on a six fight contract with them so it was really important that I won. Um, I got in there, uh, felt good on the feet, we exchanged a little bit, um, I went for a takedown. We got into a scramble, got back up. Um, I ended up getting another takedown, ended the round on top. And then uh, the second round started. Um, a little bit of the same thing. Um, I got the takedown, he got back up, we got into a scramble and just so happened in that scramble, I just felt a transition into a submission and I got that finish. No, um, has there been any word yet on when you're going to be fighting on your next fight with them? Um, yeah, actually my second fight on the contract is back in Guam again. Um, July 26th. And has there been an opponent named? Uh, yes. Um, what's his name again? Um, but you know, you know a yeah, little bit about someone him. from Japan, actually. Yeah, someone from Japan. Mm -hmm. And you know, talk about um, your tough tryouts. What was it like? What was the experience for you like? Uh, I believe this was uh, your first time trying out for the Ultimate Fire. Yeah, first time trying out. Um, I didn't know what to expect. I heard from everybody that did try out, um, watched videos. Um, but um, I was nervous, just like anything. But I went in there, and I had to do what I had to do. Um, Luckily, I got to go up there two weeks in advance. Um, Lowen fought in LA, so we went up for Lowen's fight. I got to train at a bunch of different gyms, uh, Joe Stevenson's. Um, I got to train at the Ruka Training Center. We got to check out a few jiu-jitsu schools. Um, we stayed there in LA for about four days, and then we finished off in Vegas where the tryouts was. I got to train out there at a bunch of great gyms. Just an awesome experience. Um, I know I put my name out there for sure, um, and uh, I got to see what the the mainline competition was like. We got to prove to myself and everybody else that I can hang with those big names out there, and yeah, just hopefully just positive and good things coming from this after that. You know, uh, we know we can't talk about if you made it in the house or not. Um, we know a lot of local boys, we know when they try up there, it, it's hard getting in there and they, they usually try again. You know, if by chance they don't pick you, will you be trying again in the future? Uh, yeah, why not? I mean, it's, it's nothing but positive things that can come up from that. You know, the owner of the UFC is there, both the owners, uh, the matchmaker, the president. You know, I'm sure scouts are there watching too, so yeah. And, and has it been any word on when you might be fighting back here in Hawaii? Because, you know, a lot of people are excited. We've been watching you and we've seen the progression in you, you know, from, from your previous fights to now. It's, you know, honestly, it's a two, two different fighters. You know, a lot of people are expecting you to fight back at home. Has there been any word or are you kind of planning on fighting back here in Hawaii? Um, as far as I know, there's, I haven't been contacted yet to fight here. Um, I would love to fight here. This is my favorite place to fight. Um, I have so much family, my team, my supporters, friends, everybody. So um, I would love to fight here again. Um, as far as it happening anytime soon, um, I, I don't think so. Um, maybe in the future, yeah, but only time will tell. Mm -hmm. Well, Ian, thank you for your time. Uh, in closing, is there anything you'd like to say to anybody that might be watching this? Any shout outs or anything? Yeah. Um, I'd like to thank my family and friends um, for always being there and supporting me. Um, my team, 808 Fight Factory, Fitness Reigns, uh, 
Calvary and Jiu Jitsu, all of my sponsors. Um, I have so many sponsors that help me get to the, the tryouts, help me um, get to different places and help me with training and everything like that. Um, just everybody that, that supports MMA in Hawaii, um, Busta, um, everyone, thank you. Oh,